Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Sunday video. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I'm here to walk you through the contents of Stampin' Up!'s amazing new Making Plans collection. So this is a product collection that you can get absolutely free when you join Stampin' Up! during the months of July and August. So July 1st to August 31st, this whole collection will come in your starter kit. And let me show you what is included. We've got this amazing, fun, versatile stamp set, photopolymer stamp set called Making Plans. And just look at all the awesome stamps that are included here, um, including this really useful one, Copyright Stampin' Up!, which will help you be in compliance with the ANGEL policy. So many useful, fun stamps in this stamp set for your planner and uh, beyond. So let's take a look at what else is in this collection. This gorgeous leatherette planner, so beautiful, with Stampin' Up! Uh, floral imagery here. There's a magnet closure. And when we open it up, it comes packaged with this foam to keep it safe during shipping. We've got a pen loop right here, which is just a must have. A nice big pocket for sliding things into. And this handy page guide. And then this sleeve, another pocket here, and some places for you to slide cards and whatnot. And you can slide things in here too. I'll be linking in the video description to some products, Stampin' Up! and non-Stampin' Up! that might help you, um, that might be really helpful to go along with this planner. But there's some awesome stuff that is included with it. So let me show you exactly what I mean. So your planner comes with this huge collection of pages. Clearly, not all of these pages are going to fit in your planner all at once, but that's okay. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get it set up to your liking and uh, have fun with it as we go. But before I dive into these pages, I also want to show you the other package you'll get with your planner. These three notebooks also come with the planner. Aren't they gorgeous? And there are three different designs inside as well. This one is lined. This one is bullet journal style. And this one is blank. Really good for doodling and drawing your card designs. All right, so let's have a look at these pages. As you can see, quite a gigantic stack. And there are several different kinds. These monthly calendar pages, including monthly focus and weekly priorities, these will take you from July 2022 all the way up to December 2023. So that is a solid 18 months of planner joy. You've even got the year at a glance for 2023 and for 2022. So you can put that in your planner wherever it makes sense to you. There are two of these pages, creating purpose and looking ahead. So these would probably be for um, one for 2022 and one for 2023. And of course, if you love the style of these pages, go ahead and get a copy made of them. It's very easy to set up your own hole punching guide so that you can uh, get the holes punched in here. And then you could have as many pages of this as you wanted. So then we get into the weekly priorities pages and there is a huge stack of these. Weekly priorities, weekly goals, it starts Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday again. So you're gonna have a page spread like this for every week 
for 18 months. And again, you've got your place to write your weekly goals as you go through. I love that these are not dated, so you could set them up exactly the way you need to. There's a place to put your week of there. And I particularly, um, I have this bizarre habit, but I love seeing the week go from Monday to Sunday because that's how it is in my brain. The week starts on Monday and the weekend is Saturday, Sunday. I don't like having the weekend broken up on my calendar. So this is a perfect layout for me. I love it. There are also several of these monthly review pages. So you're gonna be able to write down the highlights of the month, your accomplishments, your challenges, some reflections, and look at this, you can give your month a five-star rating. So there's quite a stack of those. They have on the, uh, on the front side, the weekly priorities. You just slide that in at the fourth week of the month or the fifth week of the month, and then you're ready to uh, review the month and then move over to the next one. Next thing I wanna show you is this collection of tabs. And as you can see, these tabs are made with um, glossy, thick cardstock that it looks like or and feels like it's been laminated in some way. So these are gonna be really, really durable and strong. And we know that Stampin' Up! is a global company. So instead of having the months of the year, which would need to be in, you know, five or six different languages, they've just listed it out um, with the numbers one to 12. So you've got, with these tabs, two of each number from one to six, and then seven to 12 is just one tab each. And of course, if you didn't want to use the numbers, you could easily put stickers over there and customize them however you wanted them to be. So those are gonna be really strong and durable. And on the flip side, they've got these kind of bullet journal uh, layouts. And I think this would be easy to use with a dry erase pen. So next we've got these more open form pages. So these are great for writing your lists, your to-dos, doodling, any um, jot down that you need to do. Again, very pretty pages, very pretty design. There are 20 of these. And we've got these pages with a slightly different design, different layout for you, and 20 of these as well. And finally, we've got stickers. What's a planner without stickers, right? So these are all self-adhesive. They are ready to stick wherever you want them to go. Lots of die-cut arrows, flags, these circular stickers to remind you of various things. These are all, as you might guess, uh, specific Stampin' Up! colors. We've got Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Grey Granite, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Petal Pink, and Soft Sea Foam. So you could use your Stampin' Up! colors um, to stamp in your planner and add notes to your planner and it would coordinate perfectly. Super, super pretty. Look at all of these. Event, order, on stage, team meeting, backstage, on tour, sales are due, recruiting, class, order. All of these fabulous Stampin' Up! specific reminders for us to keep us on top of our business. And look at all these here for celebrating. Life is good. Big plans. Grateful. Birthday. Let's do this. So this is where you can start to use your planner not only as planning ahead, but something to look back on as well. Journaling and memory keeping. It's a great combination. So there are two sticker sheets and two copies of each one. So as you can see, this Making Plans collection is incredible. Whether you want to use it to stay on top of your business, keep track of your busy family life, or create a way to record your goals, thoughts, inspiration, and reflections, can you say all of the above? This collection has you totally covered. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and I promised that I would show you how to set up your planner. Now, this is only one of the possibilities. Once you start using your planner, you'll probably have your own preferences, but if you're brand new to planner life, this will help you get started. 
I got a lot of this information, including the planner setup tips, from a group on Facebook called SU Planner Girls, created by Layla Mankey. She has created some terrific resources to help you use your planner, and the group itself is a wonderful community where people share tips, photos, ideas, suggestions, and so on, all focused around the use of this planner, so I highly recommend checking it out. In the file section of the group, you'll find a very detailed document on setting up your planner, which I have very briefly summarized here. Start with putting your stickers in the front pocket to keep them handy. Your first page will be the 2022 year at a glance. Next, creating purpose. Jot down your passions, your unique skills, your why, your personal mission. You might also want to add the Stampin' Up! Statement of the Heart. Next, add a project page. This would be a good spot for your word of the year or intention or any other reflection exercise that you like to do. Next, a list page. Start a Stampin' Up! wish list or ordering list on one of these pages. Another list page next with a running to-do list. These are items that are not linked with specific dates and times. Next, a project page. A good spot for a high-level annual view. What are your commitments, goals, and plans for each quarter? If you like, you can add some extra project and list pages here, or use them to create some categories or trackers that you want to make note of. Contact lists, tracking finances, team goals, and so on. Now start adding the months and weeks. The first page of the month has a monthly focus page. Use your monthly dividers for July, August, and September. Depending on how many other pages you're going to use for lists, projects, and so on, you'll probably only want to put three or four months of weekly pages in at a time. Finally, add a notebook in the back pocket, and of course, a pen into the pen loop. You might want to use the notebook to create an index for your planner. Now remember, this whole collection, valued at $62, will be yours absolutely free when you join Stampin' Up! before August 31st. I would love to welcome you to the Stampin' Queens team and the global community of Stampin' Up! So to take advantage of this amazing opportunity, be sure to visit my website at inkyfingers.ca slash join to learn more, or just email me with any questions you might have. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find all the current catalogs, current promotional details, my events calendar, lots of tutorials and videos, and the sign up for my email newsletter. Have a great day, everyone, and happy stamping. Bye.